Brian here from uh, excel-widgets.com um, This is a second part of a video uh, for Gustav who left a message in the forum saying um, I'm having problems with understanding how to configure the, the dots widget for the staff retention graph um, I was just looking for some pointers for that particular widget so um, so let's take a look let's uh, let's set that up in a new um, in a new new spreadsheet so uh, um, okay let's first of all in the in the unlocked version of the um, of the Excel Dispo widget spreadsheet if we just go down to the um, to the dots widget um, okay here it is um, okay the dots the dots widget basically um, is is another way of of showing percentages. So um, you know, here we have staff retention in two thousand and nine. Um, it's roughly the same as two thousand and ten, but then it's gone down in in two thousand and eleven. Um, we're showing the percentage at the bottom, um, and then just a representation in terms of dots. So um, um, yeah, there we go. Let's let's copy this into a new into a new uh, spreadsheet first of all. So let's go to File, um, New, uh, Create, and I'm going to drop it in, drop it into B2. Okay, so um, there we have it. I'm going to call the first tab, I'm going to call My Dashboard. Um, the second tab is My Configuration uh, tab. Um, the next one is my calculations tab, and I've explained in another video why we um, why we why we do that, um, why we set up those different tabs. So I, I won't repeat it in this in this video. Okay, so here's the here's the configuration data. Let's put that onto the configuration tab. Um, and we can we can already start to put some information into here. Um, yeah, maybe we're going to call this Gustav's um, staff retention um, data. Um, and instead of having random numbers, let's say it was um, you know retention was high. 95 percent should be 0 0.95 um, what's going on here <laughs> 0 0.95 uh, let's reformat that format cells this is a percentage okay there we go 95 percent um, Keep this 83.2 percent. Staff retention is going down. So, and then this is going to be 67.3 uh, percent. 67.3 percent. Uh, okay. Um, okay. So that's our that's our configuration data. Um, and let's copy the calculations data across from the calculations tab. So let's go here. This is what we use um, here to to drive the um, to drive the widget and create all of those dots. Um, so okay the first thing we need to do step one link the yellow cells to the my configuration page. So step one this is the first value, 95%. Step two, 93%. I'm clicking on the yellow box and pressing equals, going to the configuration tab, clicking on this blue box, enter. And you can see this straight away. Um, for each, we've got these three blocks which represent these three blocks here for 2009, 2010, 2011. Um, 
And as we change the values, if I change this to uh, say 15%, it's updating, it's showing 15% um, um, would be colored here. On the, on the uh, type A are the colored dots and type B are the gray dots. So um, if I come over here, you'll see, um, oh, it hasn't updated yet because I need to link it. Um, but it basically gives a representation. Here you can see 83% 80, of the dots are on the left-hand side. Um, over here, 67% are on the left-hand side. And here, 15% are on the left-hand side. Um, so this is on the Calculations tab, and it's basically um, it's carrying out all the calculations automatically that will um, that will generate the, um, the 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 widget. So let's um, now we're on step two. Link your text boxes um, to all this lot. Um, okay. Well, first of all, let's link the title. Just click on the text box. Hit equals. Um, come over here. Click the, the main title. Um, here we are, Gustav Staff. I'm going to drag that down a bit. Um, retention. It's not going to fit nicely, is it? Maybe it's going to fit this way. Let's drag it out a bit to the sides. Um, you know what? I'm just going to call it Staff Retention Data. Um, there we go. Um, let's update these boxes on the bottom. Uh, let's click the box on the bottom, equals, go to the configuration tab. So the first year is 15%, 2010 is 83%, 2011 67%. Okay, now we need to change these dots um, so it reflects this pattern over here. Um, it's not a terribly easy task, because as you can see, this is made up of lots of little text boxes. Um, and these text boxes, because we've copied it from the, um, from the Excel dashboard widget spreadsheet, um, the unlocked version, they're still linked to, the, to another file, to another spreadsheet. This, they're still linked to this spreadsheet over here. Um, so um, we need to now link it to our to our new dashboard that we're putting together. Um, the easiest way to do that is to use the selection pane. So if you look at the home tab over here, if we go right across to find and select on the right, we click down and we click selection plane. Um, you can see this is one of the more complicated uh, widgets that we have. Um, it's made up of uh, obviously a background, um, titles, uh, the titles for each block, the main title across the top, um, the three values across the bottom, so that's the 15%, the 83% the and the 67%, but then it's also made up of all these dots, so we have uh, Block one, block two, block three. I'm going to show you how to configure block one, which is this, which is 2009. So 2009 is made up of two types, A and B, which I've already explained over here. A is the colored dots, B is the gray dots. Um, let's come back over here. So let's just go across and let's link all of the um, all of the colored dots. So at the moment they're linked to the colored dots in the other file. We need to link them to the dots in this file. So I'm going to come over here. Um, I'm clicking the first one. I'm going to do equals. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, I'm going to select it here. It's going to do equals. My calculations tab. Um, it's going to come to this one, which is currently blank. Go to the next one. Hit equals. Second row, third one, hit equals, third one, fourth one, hit equals, uh, two, three, four, fifth one, equals, two, three, four, five, 
sixth one equals one, two, three, four, five, six. Seventh one equals eighth one equals eight. Ninth one equals and tenth one equals. So those are the green tabs all down. The type A, now we need to do type B. Let's go to the first one. First one equals, and now we do it on the right hand side. Type B, second one. Third one, fourth one, fifth one. A little bit repetitive, this, I'm afraid. Sixth one, sixth one, seventh one, eighth one. So there we are. The, the, the first block is, um, is configured across. We need to repeat the process for the second and third. Um, and now when we change the value here in the configuration data, uh, okay, so percentage one, um, for year one, okay, here we go, 94%. Uh, keep doing that, don't I? 94%, we come across the dashboard and here it shows 94% of the dots are shaded. Um, I hope that's useful. Uh, please get back to us if you have um, any questions, if there's anything that isn't clear. Um, have a nice evening. This is Brian from excel-widgets.com. Um, looking forward to hearing your comments.